And after a nearly record-breaking heat, we have storm. We have a storm system on the way that will bring us plenty of wind and plenty of rain. So let's start off with a look at central Bakersfield right now. We can see the sun is out. It's still extremely warm. Bakersfield right around 87 degrees. Winds very light coming out of the north at 8 miles per hour. Visibility very strong at 10 miles. Meantime, looking at the almanac, we can see just how close we were to breaking a record. The record set back in 2015 for 90 degrees. We can normally expect to hit 72 degrees today. Bakersfield reaching far above that. 88 degrees at the warmest point of the day. So we were very close, just three degrees shy of that record. But we have a cool down on the way. So talking more about the storm system rolling in. National Weather Service has given all these areas you see shaded here in beige, including the deserts and the mountain regions, a wind advisory that's effective until tomorrow at 8 p.m. And if you're wondering how much rain we're supposed to get, we have to start looking at Monday morning. So this is when the first rain will come in, so right around 5 530 in the morning. And the storm is going to continue all the way until Tuesday. So Bakersfield on the high end could see anywhere over three quarters of an inch, but we could see a low end of about a third of an inch. It really just depends how the storm will play out. Meantime, those totals will be much higher in the Kern River Valley. Lake of the Bell is seeing much more. In the mountain regions as well, we see Fraser Park getting well over an inch of rain with this storm. Now, it's worth noting that this is more of a rainmaker, not as much of a snowmaker. Temperatures will still be relatively warm, so the snow levels will be anywhere between 6,500 and 7,000 feet. But looking at the current temperatures, Bakersfield again, 87 degrees, Delano at 83, Wasco at 85. We're seeing Temperatures in the 80s around the valley. Lake of the Bella 85 to hatch me even at 72 degrees. Even Pine Mountain Club reaching into the mid 60s. Now we're going to watch the valley reach down into those mid 50s and we're going to see those clouds start to accumulate throughout the night. Tatch be of course right around 10 degrees below that and bottoming out right in those low 40s. And if you're wondering about the air quality for tomorrow, it's moderate at 64 in the air quality index. But we're looking forward to a bump in that air quality because these storms have a great way of clearing out our air. Now here's a closer look at tomorrow. Here's where the wind is starting to pick up. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour in the valley. Bakersfield has a low of 56 tonight, going up to 83 for the high of the day tomorrow. Even windier if you live in the mountains. Tashby going down to 43 degrees tonight, reaching up to 68. Relatively warm, but a bit of that temperature offset by the wind. Gusts of 60 miles per hour. And into the desert, gusts of 45 miles per hour. Those wind speeds staying steady at 20 to 30 miles per hour out of the southwest. Edwards going down to 46 tonight, reaching up to 78 for tomorrow. As we can see, the temperature will stay relatively warm. Again, we have a slight cool down, nothing compared to what we've seen over the past couple of days. Tomorrow, a high of 83 degrees. Monday, a high of just 67 degrees. A 100% chance of shower, 90% on Tuesday. And all that will start to clear out on Wednesday. And of course, the mountains will be seeing plenty of wind. Lake Isabella, a high of 78 for tomorrow and a high of just 59 degrees. This coming Monday and Tuesday. So at least we're finishing off the weekend with some sun and looking forward to plenty of rain.